is the news and talk of Texas. Now, it's the Rick Roberts Show on 820 AM, 99.5 FM, HD2, News Talk 820, WBAP. Well, I know there's got to be a few hundred million more like me just trying to keep it free. Yeah. Rick Roberts starts. Rick Roberts starts right now. All right, all right. I got to get this out. I got to get this out. Do you know the city of Dallas, that the Brain Trust City Council and the ever vacillating mayor control to some degree, do you know that we're almost 800 police officers short? Police officers are leaving every single month. Why? Because they can't make a living. It's Dallas, Texas. It's not Brush, Colorado. It's Dallas. You think instead of spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on monuments to Confederate soldiers, we got to get rid of those. We got to get rid of If we don't get rid of those, slavery's coming back. It's been gone for 153 years in Texas, but we, you never know. They're objects of shame, according to one councilman. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. You, we deserve what we get. Police officers, sheriffs, law enforcement in general, they put their lives on the line every single day to protect our sorry butts. Um, in some cases, five police officers were gunned down, ambushed, assassinated, protecting people that were protesting them. And you want to talk to me about spending $100,000 to, to move a Confederate statue because slavery was wrong. Who, who doesn't know slavery was wrong? You know, save for a handful of uh, jackbooted, burr-headed morons with, you know, between the 10 of them, they got one set of teeth. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. This is an outrage. We're not talking about, you know, Argonia, Kansas. We're talking about Dallas, Texas. And the people in power can't even see what the priority should be. First and foremost, you need to erect a more. You want to talk about monuments? If the task force wants to get all up close and personal with monuments, build a monument to memorialize five brave police officers that were protecting people that were protesting them. That's the epitome of law enforcement, what they did. You know, the, the fact that that hasn't been done is a crime in itself. And then if st- instead of moving Robert E. Lee on his horse traveler and some unknown soldier behind him, instead of doing that, how about you get busy with making sure police officers, sheriffs, law enforcement in general can make a living, support their family. They're just like you. You know, they want to own a home. They want their kids to go to a good school. They want to go home and barbecue with the neighbors after they mow the lawn? What, what, what do you think? A police officer walks out, does his shift, goes in a closet someplace, and just stays there until it's time to go uh, on shift again? What's wrong with you people? Need to be paying these people. I mean, paying them well to do what they do. How many people employed today? Today, at seven minutes after the four o'clock hour central time, how many people in their profession, at their jobs, would give up their lives for you? Hmm, not the airport, not that. Let's see. Let me Help me out here. Uh, what uh, profession? Let's see. First responders. That's it. Law enforcement, firefighters. Those people every single day, law enforcement are prepared to lay down their life and they have, and they will for you. You don't even know them. They don't know you. It's their job. And we can't even pay them a living wage. And we're 800 police officers short in a city like Dallas because we can't pay a living wage. Does that make sense to anybody out there? Anyone. 
Well, Rick, you're biased because you have family in law enforcement. Yes, I do. And I, I see the moonlight jobs. You know, I, they have to do it to, to make a living. Does that, any of that make sense to anybody on the city council? Any of it make any sense to that, that mayor that it waffles in the wind like the flag? Any of it make any sense to anybody? Well, Rick, you know, slavery was bad. Shut up! Everybody already knows that. We don't have slavery anymore. It's been gone for 153 years in Texas. And Councilman Kingston, it's an object of shame. You need you either need to find out where you are in 2018 and where we are not, or you need to go do something else. By the way, David, do something for me. What's that? I want you to look up uh, the recall process for city council members in Texas and also recall process for mayor. Would you do that? Don't, uh, On it. Uh, yeah, just uh, print it out for me when you get it. Uh, I'm just saying. Uh, Larry in Dallas. Larry, thank you for waiting. How you doing, Larry? I'm doing good, Rick. Uh, many things I like about your show, but just here in the past, while I've been holding, I've heard some things that I just I need to talk about. I, I don't want to run long. Uh, we need to be welcoming to all people. I heard on the news and the monument makes people feel unwelcome. Well, what about the Southern descendants? who lost ancestors in the war, the war of Yankee aggression, as some people call it. What about, what, what about them? Do, you, do they move out? Do we move out of Dallas? You know, uh, so take the statue down, and you don't make all people feel well. Welcome. Uh, the second thing that I wanted to talk about was I used to have a job years ago in public school where I'd uh, – I'm not going to say what it was, but I would sit and listen to students and parents that were troubled. And uh, there's something called transference. If I have a secret inside of me that is so repugnant, I don't want to kill myself because I'm chicken, but it's so horrible, I have to prove to the world without saying what I've got wrong with me that I'm more noble than anybody else. So I go out and I pick something to transfer my nobility that I want to show off to. And what better thing than an old monument dedicated to something that happened 150 years ago or more? It's that old phrase I hate, but I'll use it, low-hanging fruit. How noble I am. See how noble I am? That's, well, that's it. That's my theory. Well, I'm, uh, uh, I, I've had it. I, I mean, you know, Me it, it was a national thing because of what? South, South Carolina. And I figured, well, you know, we just... <laughs> We've just got a weak need mayor and a bunch of city council people that don't know their backsides from a hole in the ground, and they're just jumping on the train. But now it's come up again. And, and I'm thinking to myself, it's Dallas, Texas, for goodness sake. You know, yeah, good. there's guess some priorities. Texas. Yeah, I guess who built Dallas, Texas? It was mostly southern veterans. Well, not according to city council. We, uh, ah. Dallas assumed its wealth through slavery. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, that may be true, but you, you can't expunge history. I guess you can, can't you? Of course, Dallas. of course. Yeah, I just wipe it out. I, I'm not progressive enough to think that way. I guess. Yeah, well, I guess I'm not either. Um, it, it's it's insane. It, it truly is, Larry. I appreciate it. Um, you know, we can't uh, we can't take care of our uh, law enforcement, but we can spend hundreds of thousands of taxpayer dollars. To, uh, to move statues that may offend somebody, I guess, on the city council. Um, or, or wait, for, what about that uh, preacher activist? Well, I can't remember. His name doesn't matter. Um, you know, he came out yell, yelling and screaming. And it's, it's no different than a politician looking for votes. You know, Dallas is a great city, or can be. First thing you do is take care of your law enforcement. Have you, do, you, do you hear that on the news at night? We're almost 1,000 short in Dallas. How do you feel? Feel safer? Well, I don't know. We're a thousand police officers short in Dallas, Texas, but man, we got rid of that Robert E. Lee statue. Whew, I feel so much safer. I don't even think I'm going to lock my front door tonight. 